Estou contente porque Follow Me já é sucesso. Estou contente porque você me manda dizer como é que está estudando. Estou feliz porque você está usando também a internet. É muito bom ser professora sua, sabia? E hoje nós já vamos para a aula 47. Ó, oh, coisa boa! Lesson 47. Lesson 47. A BBC caprichou nessa aula, vamos ver o que, é que a gente vai aprender hoje com Follow Me. Cambridge is a beautiful town, isn't it? Yes, and it's a nice size too. So how many people live here? I'm not sure, but no more than a hundred thousand. Hello. Today, you'll hear people talking about the places they've seen and the things they've done. You'll hear people talking about our week. Where is Bates? Look at the time. What are you going to do? I don't know. Are you Rupert Brown? Yes. I've got a message for you from Mr. Bates. He's had an accident. Oh, no, the program... It's going to start now. What is it? Our week? I could do that. Oh, you? All right. Sit there. Quick. OK. But Rupert... No, 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 no. Good evening. And welcome again to Our Week. And with me this week are... Mavis Smithers. Hello. Hubert Hardcastle. Hello. Me? <laughs> Sid Wallace. Hello. Good. Mavis, where did you go and what did you do this week? I went to see Congratulations. It's on at the National Theatre. Gertrude Gordy is in it. She's a nurse and she's very, very good. Good Gordy. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Congratulations is about a man and a woman, a doctor and a nurse. She loves him. He loves her. It's beautiful. All I can say is... Go and see congratulations. Go and see congratulations. Thank you, Mavis. Hubert? I went to the exhibition at the Tate. <laughs> there are lots of new pictures by Print, Colic and Hellhouse. Who? Oh. Print, Colic and Hellhouse. Very well-known artists. On the ground floor, in the first room, there's a wonderful picture by James Print, my daughter. The daughter of James Print? <laughs> she must be a Miss Print. <laughs> well, Mr Wallace. Sid! Um, Sid, what did you see this week? A football match. I went to see Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. The match began badly, but it got worse. The score was 7-1 to the other side. It was a terrible game. I'm going to see Brentford next week. Football in the third division is just the same as the first division these days, and Brentford has got a good team. Yes. They'll probably be in We're the We're getting lots of phone before. calls. Yes. You know, young Phillips they love him. 35 goals in one season a year or so ago. Sid Wallace, goals. they all say That's he's marvellous. So it's Brentford next week, but on Saturday well, it was Chelsea. Well, well. And that's what I saw this week. I went to the exhibition at the Tate. There's a wonderful picture by James Print. Congratulations is about a doctor and a nurse. 
nós precisávamos ter um programa assim, né? Que falasse onde é que você foi, o que você viu, como é que foi o teatro que você foi e tudo mais. Seria bem agradável. Veja o que eu tenho no quadro. Where did you go? Onde? Where? A palavra que pergunta. Where did you go? Por que did? Porque é passado. O passado do verbo to go. Where did you go? Onde você foi? Where did you go? Repeat. Where did you go? Very good. People talking about places. Essa lição é a este respeito. Pessoas falando de lugares. People talking about places. Repeat. People talking about places. Very good. What places? Que lugares? Places they've seen and things they've done. People talking about places they've seen, pessoas falando de lugares que viram, and things they've done, e coisas que fizeram. People talking about places they've seen and things they've done. Repeat. People talking about places they've seen and things they've done. Very good. I could do that. O que quer dizer isso? I could do that. Eu poderia fazer isso. I could do that. Repeat. I could do that. Eu poderia. E se fosse eu posso? I can do that. Repeat. I can do that. Very good. I went to an exhibition. Eu fui a uma exposição. At the Tate Gallery. The Tate Gallery. Uma galeria famosa de arte de Londres. I went to an exhibition at the Tate Gallery. Repeat. I went to an exhibition at the Tate Gallery. Very good. I went to see, eu fui ver, Congratulations. Esta era uma peça de teatro que se chamava Congratulations. Parabéns. Eu fui ver Congratulations. I went to see Congratulations. Repeat. I went to see Congratulations. Good. I went to a football match. I went to a football match. A football match, um jogo de futebol. I went to a football match. Repeat. I went to a football match. Good. The match began badly, but it got worse. O jogo começou mal e ficou ainda pior. The match began badly, but it got worse. Repeat. The match began badly, but it got worse. Very good. Então, worse é pior do que mal. Mal e pior. Ok? The score was seven to one. 7-1 to the other side. Ah, o score, o placar. The score é o placar, o resultado do jogo. The score was 7-1 to the other side. O score, o placar foi 7 a 1 para o outro lado. Quer dizer, eu fiquei com uma. The score was 7-1 to the other side. Repeat. The score was 7-1 to the other side. Às vezes nem vale a pena. A gente vai ver um jogo e tem um score desses de 7-1 to the other side. It doesn't compensate. Follow me. John went to see Summer and Winter last week. It's on at the National Theatre. Oh, yes. Pauline Stevens is in it. She's a nurse. It's about a man who wants to die. John says it's very good. Mavis, where did you go this week? I went to Chipping Leighton. It's a village in Sussex by the sea. About 400 people live there. Most of them work on farms or in the village shops. It's got a lovely old church and there's a little museum. <coughs> you can visit the museum on Wednesdays. There's also a village pub. Ah, a pub! What I wanted to say was, you can stay at the pub. There's only one bus a day, so it's a good idea to take your car. Thank you, Mavis. And where did you go this week, Hubert? I visited the Lake District. 
As you know, it's a beautiful part of the country, in the north of England, about 300 kilometres from here. Of course, it costs quite a lot to get there. You can say that again. It's terrible. But it's famous for its countryside. It has beautiful hills and lakes, forests and rivers. You can go swimming, go sailing, go fishing, go for walks. Thank you, Hubert. I went to see my brother this week. He lives in the next street to me. I don't get time to go to the Lake District. All villages in Sussex. Too much work. Anyway, where we live, there are no hills, all lakes, all forests, all rivers. Just a lot of factories and dirty buildings. But the people are friendly. And they're real. I visited the Lake District. It's a beautiful part of the country. It's famous for its countryside. I visited the Lake City. Eu visitei a cidade do lago. I visited the Lake City. Vamos ver as frases que eu tenho e estão no quadro para você repetir. Veja lá. John went to see summer and winter. John went to see Summer and Winter. É provavelmente ou o nome de uma peça de teatro, ou um show, um espetáculo, ou até um filme. Summer, verão, winter, inverno. John went to see Summer and Winter. Repeat. John went to see Summer and Winter. Very good. It's on the National Theatre. Está no teatro, então é uma peça, ou um show. It's on, o que quer dizer it's on? É onde está passando, tá? It's on the National Theatre. It's on the National Theatre. Repeat. It's on the National Theatre. Very good. Aqui, você viu a village by the sea. Village é uma cidade pequena, uma aldeia, um lugar menor. Not a town and not a city. A village, é menorzinho. A village by the sea. By the sea? A beira-mar. Nice. Lovely. A village by the sea. Repeat. A village by the sea. Very good. About 400 people live there. About, mais ou menos, cerca de. About 400 people. Mais ou menos 400 pessoas moram lá. About 400 people live there. Repeat. About 400 people live there. A pronúncia do live. Veja aqui. Está escrita a palavrinha aqui. L-I-V-E. Live. Não é live, que isso é outra palavra. Vou escrever. Live... É partir, deixar, sair. A pronúncia é com I forte. Live, morar. Está aqui. Live. About 400 people live there. Repeat. About 400 people live there. Very good. Continuando. It's got a lovely old church. Ah, tem uma bela velha igreja. And a little museum. E um pequeno museu. It's got a lovely old church and a little museum. It's got a lovely old church and a little museum. Repeat. It's got a lovely old church and a little museum. Very good. And there's a pub. Ah, onde é na Inglaterra que não tem a pub? Isso tem lá em todos os lugares. And there's a pub. Repeat. And there's a pub. The people are real. Ele disse lá que ele foi um lugar pequeno, era uma vilazinha com uma igrejinha e um museuzinho, mas que as pessoas eram reais, eram sinceras, eram verdadeiras. The people are real. Repeat. 
The people are real. É neste momento que nós vamos assistir mais um trechinho do Follow Me. This is Edinburgh, the capital city of Scotland. This is an important day for the city of Edinburgh. Lots of people are waiting in the streets for a very special visitor. And here comes that special visitor. It's the Queen. She's come to Scotland for a few days. Let's take a look at some of the things that everyone can see in the Royal City of Scotland. Edinburgh has a lot of fine statues. You can see them everywhere. They're all part of the city's long history. If you go to Edinburgh, you must take a walk along Prince's Street. The shops are interesting. Most people like to buy some tartan cloth when they're here. Some may also want to have a kilt made. Is that too low, John?
Kings and queens have been coming to Edinburgh for hundreds of years. So a visit like this is always very popular. That's why Edinburgh is called the Royal City. Ela vai a rainha com toda a pompa e circunstância. Você notou? Edinburgh é a cidade capital da Escócia. A pronúncia, você notou? Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Vamos ver. Eu tenho no quadro. This is Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland. This is the Ed Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland. Repeat. This is Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland. Very good. The queen has come for a few days. The queen, a rainha, has come. A rainha veio. The queen has come for a few days. Para passar uns dias. The queen has come for a few days. Repeat. The queen has come for a few days. Good. Let's look at the things you can see in the royal city. Let's look. Um convite aqui. Let's look, vamos olhar, at the things you can see. Vamos olhar as coisas que você pode ver na cidade real, in the royal city. Come on, repeat. Let's look at the things you can see in the royal city. Come on, let's look at the things you can see in the royal city. Very good. There are a lot of statues. Há muitas estátuas. Statues. There are a lot of statues. Repeat. There are a lot of statues. Quando eu vejo assim, a rainha com o príncipe Philip indo visitar aquele palácio gigantesco que ela tem em cada canto lá do Reino Unido, ela vai, passa uns dias, tanto espaço para tão poucos dias. É interessante essa coisa de rainha, de rei, não é não? É bem diferente, não é não? Eu acho até meio engraçado. Vamos continuar com o Follow Me? Rupert, either he goes or I go. Me too, Rupert. He goes or I go. And me. And to end the program, here's what we learned today. I went to the exhibition at the Tate. There's a wonderful picture by James Point. Congratulations is about a doctor and a nurse. I visited the Lake District. It's a beautiful part of the country. It's famous for its countryside. Você viu? Either he goes or I go. Ou ele vai ou eu vou. Os americanos dizem either. Either he goes or I go. Os ingleses, either he goes or I go. Repeat. Either he goes Or I go. Essa frase é meio brava. Either he goes or I go. Repeat. Either he goes or I go. Very good. Veja, no show, você notou, tinha o nome do show, era Our Week, a nossa semana. Agora vai mudar para My Week. Veja por quê. Follow me. Well, it was them or you, Sid. Good luck. Thanks. Hello, everyone. This is Sid Wallace with My Week. This week, I went to see a terrible film. It was called Soup. Don't go and see it. Oh, e eu quero encerrar agradecendo a esse sucesso enorme que o Follow Me está fazendo, principalmente porque você percebeu que pode contar também com a internet. 
internet, convenhamos, é uma ferramenta maravilhosa. No meu tempo não tinha, mas agora você aprende inglês com uma facilidade incrível. Thank you so much for being here and I hope you'll be here again next time. Bye!